say no no one minute no, no, this is just, just an issue just an issue just, just an issue just an issue one minute one minute uh, twitter is a private company whose right. servers are in the united states of america they are yeah. therefore bound by us laws and this is one thing we must say right. we must be very careful of the legal implications of giving all data to american companies because they're not liable to us okay tomorrow abhishek god forbid you or sohel or anyone else who is not on twitter suppose you were not on twitter mm. and the lashkar e toiba pays right the lashkar e toiba pays through multiple routes the dark web whatever pays money to get impersonate an individual slash an organization i mean i don't i don't trust yes i don't trust elon musk But... and some uh, you know a trigger happy twitter executive sitting god knows where in america to decide whether this is a verified uh, whether this is a verifiable identity or not that's that's the danger kushbu isn't it i want to bring in kushbu on this We, this is a dangerous situation anyone can buy See, anything you know, 8 dollars no no and i, I absolutely no yeah yeah please kushbu yeah so uh, kushbu is a cyber law expert here. by the way from mumbai yeah. yeah let me put a point uh, with regard to your impersonation i in a way agree with you that impersonation is something which we will yet deal with but at the same time you have to understand wherever the money is involved here you are having a contract where you're paying the money when when some platform is earning a money out of it there is a added responsibility or a liability that comes in place over there so let's say i am now there on the platform and somebody has got a plat account on that platform via name and there is a blue tick that means there's a place where the kyc is done kyc can be a different standard the kyc which they are taking care of is a otp on your mobile number one and the second that there should be money coming from an account now which from which platform the money is coming that's something they have to play on they are also silent on the aspect that what kind of kyc or verification or authentication they are that they are doing and for that i think more transparency is required but i will go back on on other point of it that see there is not just blue tick or organization related we are forgetting the aspect of gray and orange these are two more ticks which are available orange is for organization so that those copyright or trademark issues don't appear so an organization like republic or organization like amazon or others can have a orange tick that they are into the business over there and they get that or so that user like you and me will understand that that's an authentic account of an organization same with the gray like for example our home minister prime minister uh, i4c account which is operated uh, cyber dost account which is operated by under the home ministry of india these are all given a gray tick once the verification happens other 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 accounts of meti or let's say pib will get uh, authentication the channels are given gray accounts the uh, you know the news channels i'm talking about like india today and others have got gray account so the part of whether uh, you know authenticity or the aspect that we can rely on that information or not i think that's something which should not be a doubt the doubt should come on that whether the, the, the question which is coming up is that why have you taken away my right of uh, you know getting that privilege of a blue tick no, all of a sudden one should right understand they're not anyway. taking away they no but but they're not taking away your kushbu, right to be on the platform kushbu kushbu what was that there, there was no such no, right there was no basis of that right was yeah. there was there, there no such absolutely Mali, and you're still Prashant there Mali. and you're still there on the let's twitter let's get the other side